box. They traded paint last year in the Supercars Championship and Wink Cup all over the back of the AMG as they run down the hill. Van Gisbergen's under immense pressure. Worth pointing out, technically it's Red Bull HRT drivers from the Supercars 1, 2, 3, because Matt Campbell was announced recently as a co-driver to Van Gisbergen in the Enduros. But that doesn't matter right now, because Wink Cup is in the toe. He pulls out alongside the AMG for the race lead. There's contact, there's paint, there's dust and debris, and he goes through and grabs the lead. My goodness! They were so close to disaster there. A bit of rubbing as SVG comes round the outside into the chase. This is going to be all or nothing for the 22 car. They know that if this, if this Mercedes AMG can't get back past the bright red Ferrari, they are in real trouble. And that might just be the move of the race. We had the pass on the grass this year. It was clean through on the green. Not that clean, actually. He's got to get it done before they get to Forest Elbow or at the elbow next time round. Shane Van Gisbergen, if he wants to retaliate, but he's just dropped enough time. The new tyres will be the difference for Jamie Winkup. He pulls away. He's in the lead. There's 39 minutes to go, but what a great bit of motor racing that was. Absolutely fantastic stuff by both men. It didn't quite work there. There's still some still moves to go play out here. We know the Mercedes-Benz is quick across the top. It's slide there from Shane Van Gisbergen. Traffic ahead. Big black Pirelli rubber marks lid behind the number 22 through Griffiths Bend from about two cars away from the Amex all the way through. That's how hard SVG is trying. He's getting on the throttle super early, trying to maximize the advantage that the Mercedes-Benz has in the twisty bits. So this is where it all started. This is where it all started. The objective race in McLaren slowed through the spares box dipper and that bottled Van Gisbergen up. He had nowhere to go. And it just took that slight little advantage he had from Jamie Winkup, who cruised up behind him. And with the straight line speed advantage, that the Ferraris had all weekend compared to the AMG, Mercedes AMG GT3 in front. That was all she wrote. The next bit was particularly exciting because Shane made it very, very difficult to get past. I mentioned before they traded paint and supercars last year. They did the same here. So here's Wink up with the run. Look at this. Almost contact. He's in the grass at 280 here. kilometers an hour, folks. He and it wasn't shifted, done yet. Shifted into sixth gear just as they... Oh. Well, there maybe wasn't a touch, but there was a little bit of intimidation. SVG wasn't going to give that up. That's the lead of the race. I think that's OK. Side by side into the Caltex chase. And a bit of a block pass by the Ferrari at that point. But again, all fair. And the applause from the teammates down in the red shirts.